I'm here today for a tutorial on how to make your own blanket with nothing more than just this wonderful yarn called La Mia Blah Blah. It's from hobiumyarns.com and it is super fluffy and it will make for a quick project. And this one is in the, I don't know the color, color, ah, here we go, because they use color codes. So this one is in LB007. And this is 100% polyester, 200 grams, and 38 meters. So what I will do is just teach you the basics of how to do it yourself, and then you can make it as big and as long as you want. I'll just make a small swatch for you so that you can see how easy this is. If it wasn't obvious already, it is very, very plush and soft, squeezable, really, really nice. and. I'm excited to show you this because my son and I have been working on a blanket. So let me find the end. The most important thing is to undo this yarn a bit so that you have enough yarn to pull from. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. What to do is we're going to just make a small swatch and of course you can make this um, in any size you'd like, but I'm going to just chain five, just so that I can show you a small sample, but this works for any number of chains. So here we go. We have our slip knot here, and then I'm going to chain five. So this is one, two, three, four, and five, there we go, yep. So we have our five right here and we're going to work through these top ones right here. So we have our first one here. So that's like right here, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. So you'll see those loops. So this loop is counting into as our stitch here because it's, com it's coming out of this loop right here. So what we need to do is we need to move this yarn over here and we're going to draw up loops through these loops that are on top. So you should have five loops like this. So this one is the first one. So we've already done the first. We go to the next one right there, just right there. And we're going to take that yarn from the yarn ball and we're going to draw up a loop just like that. And one, two. Now we go into the next one here. So right there, you can see right there. And we're going to draw up the loop just like that. Okay. And then we draw up into the next one. So you take your time with this. This is no rush. It's totally fun. And then the last one here, just, just like that. And then what we will do is I like to move that yarn over to the other side now since we're working in this direction. So we're doing the same thing over and over again. We're going to take this loop and the, the, the yarn from the yarn ball, draw up a loop just like that. And as you can see, it looks like it's coming through and up. So we don't want this to be twisted like this. We want it to be nice and flat. And over here and keep going just like this. And we go all the way to the end. And we're going to keep going until we need to stop. So every time you finish a row, you just move that yarn in the direction that you are knitting. So we're going to take this loop it's just the same thing over and over again. And we want these loops to be a, a bit even, just like that. Just like that. And then we go back over on this side and take this yarn, bring it up. Take this yarn and we 
bring it up. Go into the next loop. We bring that up and same with the next loop, same with the next loop, just like that. And at any, any given time, you will just keep doing that until it's your desired length. I'm fully planning on snuggling with my boy. I think he'll be very excited for the whole family to go together. We're making a really giant blanket, so that's, you know, that's at 40, 40 stitches. It's almost as big as um, covering a full bed. So let me see here. Okay, so now let's say that you are ready to finish your project, but you have all these loops here, and if anything happens, it will just undo itself, which is a big problem. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cast off. So I'm going to cast off in this direction. So that means I want my yarn to be in this direction, so that way I can work with it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this loop. We're going to put it on top of the loop that's next to it and bring up that yarn tail through both of those loops. And we're going to repeat for the next one. And what that does is it's closing off these loops and going all the way over here. So you take that loop, the active loop that has the yarn tail, you put it on top of the next stitch, just like that. You see right there, just like that. And then you bring up the yarn, the yarn loop, just like that. And we're going to repeat until we're at the very, very end of the stitch, the very last, the very last loop. And then what you will do from here, as you can see, it looks very nice. This is the bind off. You will cut this yarn tail and then you will loop it in here and bring it out to close it. I cannot cut it because I actually need this yarn, but once you cut it, and then you weave it all in through the back somewhere, in and out, in and out. But as you can see, how is how beautiful is this, right? And sometimes you might need to adjust the stitches just a little bit so that they look like nice little V's, but easy to do, very, very easy to do. And I'd love to show you some clips of my son and I working on our blanket. And if you would like to know how big this is, Let's see, get a ruler. So for five, five chains, it is about give or take seven inches or maybe about 17 to 18 cm, five rows. Let's see, it is about seven. Yeah, seven, seven, 17 or seven inches or seven to 18 centimeters. So you can kind of gauge between um, using that gauge that what I did but these are also depending on the size of your the loops that you do when you're pulling them up but that can kind of give you an idea of maybe if there's a certain size blanket that you want to do I will share with you what we have progressed so far and if you're using this yarn to make a blanket or any project please let me know in the comments box below I would love to see your projects with this yarn or ideas that you have for this yarn as well I think this would make a really nice bathrobe actually you could just finger knit it just like this and I wanted to say a huge thank you to Hobium Yarns for providing this yarn for my son and I to be able to bring a tutorial like this to you for free as well well as um, just their generosity and having wonderful yarn. So if you like this, please consider subscribing to both our channels, Annie Gurumi, as well as Hobium Yarns. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. If you enjoyed that tutorial, please let me know if you have any tips or tricks for me about this yarn too, because I'm also learning. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.